All the capture cards too big. It's too big. Sorry. Hold on. There you go. During 15th century, century Europe, there lived a person named Dracula. He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. He began taking over the continent of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's vile forces. The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil. The townspeople became afraid of the Belmont's superhuman power and asked them to leave the country. Fortunately, the people found a mighty Belmont called Trevor. The curse of Dracula has begun. The fate of Europe lies with Trevor. As <laughs> Castlevania 3 isn't in the Twitch category bank. Should be. Let me see. I'm not seeing it. Here, this will this will be the next best thing. This is in the game. This this is the game's Japanese title. Okay, so enter my name. Butkus. So, Castlevania 3. It's a game. You play as Trevor Belmont, Simon's ancestor. I was gonna play this uh, with the expansion sound, the Japanese version, but I couldn't get the mod done in time. So, 2A03 we go. Oh, hang on. Doing a quick musical thing. So yes, this is what a this is what a good Castlevania looks like. You know, we may have lost track of that for a while. This is a really tall church. Maybe it's like the bell tower or something. You know what, yeah, I'll take the holy water. 
Uh. Oh no, he's gonna jump down. But yeah, as previously mentioned, the Japanese version of this game has a lot of, like, extra sound Dumaflotchers. Like, extra sound channels and instruments and whatnot. Konami put their own, like, sound chip in the cartridge. Except Nintendo of America, in their infinite wisdom, did not actually allow the NES to make use of that. So Konami had to redo the music. Oh. We're breaking out the Medusa heads early in this game. No. 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 Not the flip platforms. Anything but the flip platforms. They are my greatest enemy. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to grab that, actually, but I did. What does BLK stand for? Uh, Barton Luther King? I don't know. I think it stands for block. Mmm, delicious wall meat. It has been so long since we have seen you. I don't know what I could have done there. Oh, ow. Oh, here's the door. All right, cool. I'm glad I could have partaken in that experiment. That social experiment. Oh, I probably didn't want to get the dagger either, but... Guess what? That's what I did. All right, here we go. First boss. Not particularly super tricky or anything, but... Alright, so... Here's a little new feature. Alright, so this game has branching paths. We can go to the clock tower, or we can go to the forest. Which shall we? Some things may happen or not happen depending on your choices. Clock? Okay, clock we shall go. And like the Medusa heads were pulling out the clock tower very early, somebody at Konami was very proud of their rotation effect on that cog down there, that gear. You're not wasting any time getting right into the meat of it. Oh, oh. Give me that. Honk. 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 Yes, that was needlessly dangerous, wasn't it?
but yeah, after Simon's Quest, they, you know, they, they tried some things with that game. I guess they figured it didn't work out, so they went back to the Castlevania 1 style. Except they made it even better. It's a bigger game. It's a better game. It's a better game. It's a bodacious -er game. Oh, look at this. Look at this rotation effect. Seamless. Absolutely seamless. I don't know why we're still not making games for the NES. Certainly God of War could run on it. All right, here's a door. What is the purpose of the door? I do not know. But it is not my place in life to question the door. It is only to travel through it. Oh, uh, uh. come on, Trevor. So this guy happens to be the main character of the Netflix show. They chose to focus on this game. Was that the right choice? I don't- I don't know. I'm not making a Netflix show, how am I supposed to know? Oh, oh! Didn't mean to use the holy water, oh. Weird lack of movement. Oh. You know, I'm just kind of picking up sub-weapons haphazardly- oh, ow. Ow. Dang it, Medusa! Why are there so many Medusas? Like, surely these heads have to be coming from somewhere. Does Dracula have a stockpile of the old girl in the back? Medusa surplus? Didn't get that. Oh, but I got this. This lets me throw two items. Dang it! I didn't mean to do that. I'm not used to sub weapons dropping from candles anymore. I've had like three entire games to stop being used to that. Haha, ha, you thought you had me. You thought you had me. But you played yourself. Oh, ow, okay, that time you had me. Okay, what's in here? Delicious, delicious wall meat. Definitely not old, dusty, and rotten. Okay, boss. Some kind of weird gorilla man. And he just glitched through the wall a little bit. I can't believe it, it's a boss with an actual pattern I can follow. Oh. There we go, he's dead. Deceased. These orbs are falling much quicker than I remember. My name is Grant. I dreamed I was turned into a ghost. Please take me with you. My family was killed by Dracula. What will you do? Well, of course I will take him with me. I can help you a lot because I can him very fast. Warren Ellis neglected to put this man in the Netflix show because he is a coward, a fool, and a heathen. Let that be remembered, please. Do not let Grant's sacrifice be in vain. 
So, here's another major addition to the game. Multiple playable characters. And you'll find that Grant is very good. Because he can do this. However, he has very short range attack. Funny thing, though, is that that's not the case in the Japanese version. In the Japanese version, Grant actually just has, like, the knife sub-weapon perpetually. Which means he's kind of freaking overpowered. Oh, also, he can control his jumps in midair. If you have ever played a classic Castlevania game, you know why that's a big deal. <laughs> Like, why is this guy not in the Netflix show? He's, like, dope as hell. Warren Ellis, one day you will have to answer for your crimes. Do not think that God will forgive you. So yeah, he can, he can like, do this number. He can go up here. Got a whole one-up and everything. Yeah, so if you had chosen the forest, then an entirely different set of events would have played out. What events? I will not tell you. Because frankly, I do not know. <laughs> I do not remember. But you gotta work your way down- oh, uh, uh. You gotta work your way down the clock tower. It's like the only time it, <laughs> they make you do this. I guess they just want you to get accustomed to Grant and his sick powers. The crusty Trevor in the top right. It sure is. I mean, look, look. I don't even need to use the stairs. Stairs are pointless. Never, never needed them. Never needed them a day in my life. Looks like one of the California raisins. Alright, now that is just uncalled for. True, but uncalled for. Also, I can go underneath here and get myself kind of vaguely stuck. Is there any benefit to doing that? No. <laughs> but it can be done. Also, look. See, the thing is, Trevor... Trevor can't go through here. Grant, however, can just kind of like... Eh. Eh. Because he's like Spider-Man. Except Peter Parker wishes he was half the man Grant Dynasty is. And yes, that is his last name. Don't ask me, I don't come up with it. <laughs> I don't come up with this stuff. Grant Dynasty. Well, well, Dynasty is like one word. But yes. Dracula destroyed the bridge, so we gotta go to the forest anyway, but I think... I think the stages after this play out in a different... a different way. I don't think it's possible to see all of the stages in a single playthrough, so what I was planning on doing is doing this playthrough on NES and then hopefully getting my NES modded for expansion sound down the line. And then I'll do a second playthrough of the Japanese one where we, where we make different choices. But for now, enjoy. Okay, let's 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 give Trevor some more time. As tempting as it is to rely on Grant. Oh, this song's really cool. 
I mean, even without the expanded channels, this game has a sick soundtrack. I mean, it's Castlevania. Are you surprised? I'm going to answer that for you. No, you're not. I think this is in Smash 2. Ow. I don't know if it's a remix, but it's in there. Honestly, I, I think my favorite remix introduced in Smash Ultimate was uh, Dark Man's Castle from Mega Man 5. Like, one of my complaints about Smash 4 is that, surprise, surprise, the Mega Man representation was very heavily skewed towards Mega Man 2. Which is luckily something they got a little away from with Ultimate. And they got some stuff from uh, 4, 5, and 6 in there. And I, I really like the remix of Dark Man's Castle, because not only is it Dark Man's Castle, but they also threw like the intro to the game in there, and like the title screen and the password. God, that was- that's awesome. Whoever composed that, I forgot. Whoever composed that, good freaking job. Oh yeah, Gangplank Galleon I did forget about. Okay, I'd say... Second place is a tie between Gangplank Galleon and, uh... And, uh, the F-Zero one that was sung by Mitsuyoshi. Okay, so which choice? Which way are we going? Bottom? Okay. We're going to the swamp. Oh, here's another really good song. <laughs> I feel like we're in a rut of some sort. I mean, honestly... This is one of those soundtracks where they might there might not be a single bad song in the whole thing. I probably did I didn't want to do that either. God, playing this after playing Haunted Castle is just like such a breath of fresh air, let me tell you. Like, it reminds you what quality looks like. Oh, it's the swamp, Mudman. What's this way? Ow. Ow. No, wait, what's in here? Oh, it's meat. It's delicious swamp meat. Yeah, Trevor, just eat that right out of the- right out of the wall. It's fossilized, but that just means it's well-preserved. Also, this game has a password system, as you no doubt saw. So I, I don't have to beat it all in one sitting. And I probably won't. Actually, yeah, give me the axe. I uh, die. Mm, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the axe. Like, I see an enemy and I could actually do something about it. There's still enemies up my anus. <laughs> At least I can do something about them. And who needs sub weapons, really? Just give me the good old fashioned whip.
Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh dear. Okay, I didn't get the. Oh yes, give me the cross. Cross is best sub weapon. Hands down every single time. Oh, I thought you weren't gonna appear. You were you were taking your sweet time to do it. All right, down into the alternate palette zone. Oh, this is a really good looking palette, honestly. No! No! <laughs> uh, my candle, my candle habits are biting me in the butt once again. Oh well. I mean, this isn't a bad sub weapon. I don't think it works on bosses like it does in Haunted Castle, though. Yeah, it does not work on bosses. Alright, get down here. Die? This is a good quality- this is a good quality title. You can tell because Trevor's boot is flickering in the mud. Alright, Grant, come on, old buddy. Old buddy, old pal. Alright, the oh, the acid rain! It falls mainly on the plane. How do you switch characters? You press select. And you know what? Since Trevor got that one, we'll, we'll give Grant a little time in the spotlight. Oh no. Oh no, it's mummy fever. Oh dear. Oh, I didn't mean to do that actually. That's what happens when your sub weapon button is up such big. Dang it! Well, I guess I might as well capitalize on that opportunity. Okay, wait for the flame to dissipate. Okay. Uh, if we wait for the rain to dissipate this area, we can go down the alternate door. Grant is really good at teabagging. Come on, all I need is one block. I have Grant, I can make do with just one. Okay. See? You see what I mean? Patience is a virtue. Pardon me, burping is not a virtue. And see, see, Trevor would have to platform through that. <laughs> However, as Grant, I do not care. I do not care about your feelings. <laughs> Except now I am trapped. I am trapped in the catacombs. This is- this is how Dracula can win. So what you're saying is Grant is the zero of this game. Yeah, basically. Short range, but has amazing mobility. Sounds about right. But like I said, in the Japanese version, he's not even short range. <laughs> he's just got the- he's got the dagger sub-weapon perpetually. And obviously somebody at American Konami said, no. No, it's... And it says a lot that even... Even with that taken away, he's still overpowered. Ow. I mean, that wasn't him being underpowered. That was just me being an idiot. My brain is underpowered, is what I'm getting at. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 I like these crushers in, that move in 16 by 16 increments. 
And you can really tell that they were, like, tile-based. See, Trevor would have to jump on that platform, but... We are playing as an absolute Chad right now, so... Oh, it's the crypt. Actually, maybe we want to be Trevor for this, because... You know, offensive capabilities and whatnot. I'm probably not going to live. I have got maybe one hit. Oh. Who is this dapper young lad? Okay, well, crud. <laughs> this is where the checkpoint is. Can I get, like, a better sub-weapon? I don't want to go down there, because it's probably not anything good. I mean, it could be, but... Is the chance that it's good worth going down there? I'm not convinced that it is. Uh, it's the Anti-Fairy. Okay, you're clearly not supposed to actually kill these things. You know, since this is an NES game, they're, they're prop they probably are killable, but they make it absurdly obnoxious just to deter you from doing so. Like, but but it's just possible enough. It's just possible enough to where you're thinking like, oh yeah, I can do it. But then you've wasted four hours of your life that you'll never get back. Anything cool on these blocks? Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right, fella. Just kind of go in the same place over and over. Yeah, I can take him. There we go. I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. I need you to help me destroy Dracula. What will you do? Alright, so you can only have one character at a time. So do we keep Grant, or do we switch him out for Alucard? Alucard... is not as OP as Grant, but he can fly. For a limited time. You say keep Grant? Okay. Sorry, man. Well, I'll have to find someone else. Please be careful. Maybe next time, Alucard. Maybe next time. Oh, it's the slime. Oh, it's the disappearing block. Oh dear. This is very precarious. Oh yes, the good sub-weapon. Oh no, the bad sub-weapon. Okay, it does eventually go away though. This isn't ghosts and goblins. Okay, I don't want to go down in the mummy pit. That is... Oh no, the mummy pit has come up to me. Just, it's just infinite mummies. There's, there is, n there is no end to them. Okay, this is the red skeleton, which will revive itself. There is no defeating it. Oh, okay. 
Okay, we got another branching path. Make your selection now. Bottom again, okay. Oh yes, this song. Yeah, this is a very popular song in the Castlevania franchise. Alright, so here's a fun little thing. Do you see those stairs? See how we have to go down those stairs? We do not have to go down those stairs. So that's an entire area we just skipped. I have deceased. I mean, I probably should go down there just to show what it is. I just wanted you to know that we could skip it. Should we so choose. I did lose my cross, though, my boomerang. Okay, let, let's see what's down here. Oh, it's the Merman Tunnel. Contractually obligated Merman Tunnel. God, this this game's soundtrack is just amazing. Why is the why is it that some video game series are just allowed to have? Nothing but banger soundtracks their entire run. How is that legal? Like Sonic the Hedgehog, Mega Man, Castlevania, how do they keep getting away with it? Like save some for the rest of us. Ow. Kirby too. Yeah, Kirby, though h slightly hot take. I don't think Kirby is of quite the same caliber as the other three that I mentioned. Still very good, but I, I don't like it, I think, as much as some people do. But then again, I think it's just that Kirby also tends to go for a slightly different style of music than is my jam, as we might say. Oh yeah, I forgot that the hearts, hearts just like, float down. That's one thing that Haunted Castle was definitely missing, is hearts floating down. MONEY! <laughs> nope. I gotta wipe my nose. It's the stream nose do I wonder if it's just something about talking so much that makes my nose run. Because I don't understand otherwise why this keeps happening. Okay, we got plenty of hurt. Is there another skull dragon over here? Yes, there is. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want this. I big time want this. Okay. 
Okay, come on, I don't got all day. There we go. That's just a very satisfying sound effect. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that wasn't a sub-weapon. That could take my beloved cross away from me. Oh, dang, I jumped right into it. Oh, dang. Can I get some wall meat? Some of that delicious, delicious wall meat? No, I cannot. And I'm dead. Oh no. They took everything from me. No way I can get that back. Okay, where's the... Where's the thing? Where's the two? There was a two here. I don't want to go back though, because it'll probably respawn the dragon. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I already lost the cross, so... Say lovey. Oh no! Curse you, weird... Double standard collision. At least I can do that a whole bunch. Any meat? Any cool meat? Yeah, still does not work. What are you doing? What are you doing up there, mate? I dare say, I think this fellow's patterns are a wee bit random. You know what, uh, I'll, I'll stop it there for now. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. This is our password. Remember it well.